Greetings everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your photos library to an external drive. Some reasons why you might want to do this is you're running out of disk space and your Mac's internal drive is not big enough. You're not paying for iCloud storage or you don't have enough iCloud storage or you want to just keep a full local copy of all your photos. So here I'm using a SanDisk SSD drive but there are other alternatives and I'll put some links in the description. So the first thing you want to do is connect the USB-C cable to the Thunderbolt port on the side of your Mac. And then if you get a pop-up message asking you to allow the accessory to connect, you want to click allow. So then you'll see a hard drive icon show up on your desktop and you can double click it to open it or you can click on it and choose file get info and it'll tell you more about the drive, how big it is, what format it's in and we want APFS. We don't want case sensitive so we're going to erase this. It just needs to be APFS format. So to do that there's a couple of ways. You can control click or right click on the drive icon and choose erase disk and you can put in a disk name and choose APFS at the top. It doesn't need to be case sensitive or anything like that, just the top option. For an SSD drive, that's what you want, and then you click erase. Second method would be to do a search for disk utility and launch it, and then click on the drive on the left and click erase, and you'll get similar options, and you wanna choose APFS and then you want to click on erase it should take a few seconds and then it should say done so you want to click done here and we can exit disk utility and then we can click on the hard drive icon choose get info and we can verify format is APFS and the disk size and then we'll launch the Photos app, and as you can see, we have some photos in there as a test. And we'll exit the Photos app. And now we're going to go to the Go menu, to Home, and then to Pictures. And if we go into the Pictures, we'll see where the Photos library actually resides. And I also have under view show path bar. And so you can do this a couple of ways. You could copy and paste it into the uh, external hard drive, or you can drag and drop it into the external hard drive. And then if I open the hard drive, I'll see the same photos library that's just been copied in there. Now we need to tell the Mac OS where the photos library is going to be from now on. So if we hold the option key down and launch the photos app, uh, we'll see where each path is. And we want to select the second one that's going to the Samsung drive. And then we have to do one more thing in the photos app. We have to go to photos, settings, and select use as system photo library. And that will make sure that any applications you're using will access the photos library that's on the Samsung drive. And we'll launch everything again. Everything looks great. And now we're using the external drive. Now the only issue with keeping your photos library on an external drive is you always need it connected. So we're going to eject the drive and I'll show you what happens if we go to launch the photos app after ejecting the drive. So we get an error message that photos can't find the photos library. So we'll plug the drive in again, and then we'll try and launch the photos app again. So there's a drive, it's on the desktop, we know it's connected. We'll launch the photos app and boom, there we go. And that is how you move your photos library to an external drive. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.